Hi everyone. Now we will talk about basic routing in Angular. See, there will be some more parts also on Angular routing because routing is a big topic and we cannot cover all of its feature in a single part. So in this part, we'll talk about basic routing and in upcoming parts, we'll talk about uh, how we can pass data from one screen to another screen with the help of routing and how we can make dynamic routing. We'll also talk about 404 page and lots of other things also. So now let's focus on the basic thing of routing. So first we'll understand what is routing. Then we will make some components uh, so that we can use these components as pages. After that, we have to import and register these components in a route file. And then we will make some links so that we can open these components as pages in the different, different routes. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the Angular 19 tutorial playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So now let's move on first question. What is routing? See, we know that when we are making big applications, we cannot cover everything in a single page. So that's why we have to make lots of pages in our application. And with the help of routing, we can make multiple pages in our application and we can move from one page to another uh, page uh, through the routing. Or you can say that uh, routing basically provide the navigation and pages for the multi-page application. All right. So now let's move to the code and make some components. So there right now you can see that we have only one component which is app and we know that how we can make uh, components in Angular. We already learned in this playlist. So let's uh, run their ng, g for generate, c for component and your component name. So let me make a component with the name of login. Here you can see that. After that, I'm making one more page, which is one more component with the name of about. And last one is let's say contact. So now you can see that we have three pages. So we will make three routes and open these components as the different pages. Okay. So what is the next thing that we need to do? You have to go to the app dot routes dot ts file. And inside this array, you have to register all of these uh, components. So just make an object there and first define path. And then uh, that will be the path uh, where you want to open a component. So I want to make a path with the name of login and which component I want to open there, login component. And similarly, I will make two more components there, two more objects there one for about and there we will open about component and last one is contact and we will open their contact component uh, let me fix this typo mm, yep here we go all right so after doing this you have to uh, go to the app.component.ts file and there you have to import two things. First one is route links, uh, router outlet, this is the one thing and second one is uh, router link. You have to open, you have to import these two things. And the next thing is you have to move to the uh, template file which is .html and then uh, to uh, you have to make the links right so then what you can do there simply make a ul then inside this li and inside this use a a tag and you can open and close it and there you can mention let's say login and there you have to uh, use their route link router link basically and which link you want to open on this anchor tag you can mention there for example, login. And similarly, I will make two more links there. These are the about and then last one is contact and this is let's say contact like this. So now you will see there if I'll open the page Okay, so there is something which is about dot component dot CSS. 
so i think there is something related to the reload of server ng server so i am just running the ng server again and now you can see that this is resolved and now we have three links there so here you can see that the route is also getting changed but nothing is visible there the reason is if you want to show the content you have to use their router outlet so simply use router like this and now you can see that contact works so let me just zoom zoom it out so if i i will be on the root page then nothing is display there if i click on the login login works about works and contact works works so how this content is coming from this is coming from the html files of this component so let me put there a h1 tag with all of these so that this content will be little bit larger then go there in the second one or better you can say that contact page and uh, then login page and first one is let's say about so let me change their h1 and what we can simply do there about page right so if i just click on the login about and contact you can see that respective pages are getting open there all right so in next part we'll see how we can make a header there we will use some css and we'll see how we can open maybe login or home page how we can open on this route only because nothing is visible there and we'll see how we can use the active classes also so thank you so much for watching this part in next part we'll learn some more things about routing and this is uh, my paytm and gpay number for donation in interview question they can ask uh, let me open this so what is the use of router outlet so that you can say that uh, with the help of router outlet we display the pages uh, whichever uh, according to the routes you can say that right so that's all for this part and please don't forget to watch this playlist that will definitely help you out